Have kids lost the ability to use their imaginations and their minds, you know, instead of being force fed all that content online? Why aren't they playing with their toys and using their imaginations? Are they? Have that? Has this been lost? If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. I am your father. At work, there's another gentleman named Keith. He's about my age. We both grew up in the 80s. All of a sudden, he said, yeah, I used to play with my G.I. Joe figures all the time. I said, whoa, wait a second. He said, yeah, I get lost in the stories, or I'd be at school, or I'd watch a movie, and I'd think, I want to reenact that. I'm like, that's me. He with his G.I. Joes, me with my Star Wars figures. We play for hours and hours and hours, coming up with our own stories, using our imaginations. And then I said to Keith, man, what has been taken from our kids now? I've mentioned before, I still have all of my Star Wars figures. Ironically, check this out, Keith. I keep them in a, in a metal case. That was loud. I keep them in a metal case. And on that case are G.I. Joe stickers. So <laughs> how cool is that? But inside are my original upwards to 70. These are vintage, vintage Star Wars figures. And as we are talking... And we were both talking about how we get lost in our stories. He'd make up his own stories. And I said, I do too. I never reenacted the Star Wars movies with my figures. I would make up my own stories. And I come home from school alone. And that's the reason why I still have my Star Wars figures. All in near mint condition with many of the weapons. Because I did play alone. A couple of times when I actually played with other kids, I went over to his house, I brought my Star Wars figures, I lost two or three of them in a sandbox or wherever. I don't know if he stole them, but the point is I lost, I'm like, no, that's it. I'm never playing with another kid again. Yeah, I'm a loner. Check it out. These are vintage Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I mean, my goodness, you could reenact... That, that one of that, that close to final scene in Star Wars, right? The classic fight where he got cut down. But yes, these are from the first movie. So circa 1977, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Also, I have C-3PO, R2-D2. Another really cool one. I used to have more of these, but right now I only have one, Jawa. This is Wicket, of course. Ewok, Return of the Jedi. One of my favorite figures, though is the Biker Scout. I always just love the design of the Biker Scout because it took the classic Stormtrooper and it just made it that much cooler. And plus, I rode a floating motorcycle. Come on. So yeah, love my, bo my Biker Scout. Speaking of Endor, Han and Leia in their Endor gear. Got those. But also, here's Leia and Lando, both with her masks. Okay, when they were in Jabba's palace, right? And, and she was pretending to be some kind of alien and she had the thermal detonator. Check this out. I had to send away for this, the emperor. You'd save these little coins, if you will, these little p pieces of cardboard on the backs of your Star Wars figures. And I think it was like five and I sent away. They didn't sell these in stores, not, not at first. And so yeah, this is the emperor. And of course to go with it, yeah. Emperor's Royal Guard, one of the coolest figures they ever made. Man, Kenner made some amazing toys back then. Made so well. That's just a sampling of my Star Wars figures. I also have a Jedi Luke. I have uh, three of these, Gamorrean Guards. I could go on and on. Of course, this guy, right? It's a trap! Yeah, that guy. And I show these guys to you for a reason. Man, what has been taken from our kids now? Now they're force-fed video games. They're force-fed anything online content. They're not using this as much. Not in this capacity. By the way, this guy, very valuable. The medic droid for Luke in, in Empire Strikes Back. Love this guy. They're not using their imaginations anymore, are they? Not to the same degree. That pure creation, that pure use of imagination that we use for our toys, and it could be any toy. I just happen to be a Star Wars figure guy. 
Keith with his G.I. Joe figures. But my sister had strawberry shortcake. And then a lot of young ladies had Barbie dolls. Whatever it might be, toys equal creation. Toys equal using your imagination, which only helps this, our minds. And when you're force-fed content, video and video games and stuff, and it makes me wonder, it's kind of a sad reality, isn't it? That kids seem to have lost what we used to have. When the Star Wars movies were re-released in the theaters, I was right after my neck surgeries. I wore one of those halo braces for, for months so that my bones would fuse in my neck. I actually went to the theater in my halo brace. Look it up. If you don't know what a halo is, giant metal bars bolted to your head so that way you can't move. I went to the theater in that to see what? These the re-release of the original trilogy. I was there front and center. If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. I am your father. It's been said quite a bit all over YouTube, and you guys can easily find the content and find the channels that have criticized justly so. All, most of them, ever since, say, Mandalorian Season 2, but beyond that, pretty much a garbage fest with regard to Star Wars. It's just, uh, it's not good content. It doesn't respect the lore. Um, there's a lot of reasons why. But here's my thing. It's not Star Wars. Star Wars is what we now call Episode 4, 5, and 6. All right, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, what I have right here on my wall, the original trilogy, that's Star Wars. Luke, Leia, Han Solo, C-3PO, R2-D2, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, that's Star Wars. It was one thing to get the prequels, episodes 1, 2, and 3, starting with Phantom Menace, working all the way to Revenge of the Sith. That was still held on to most of what Star Wars was. We could talk all day long, whether they're good, whether they still stand up, which one was best. That can be hashed over a million times over, but it was still done by George Lucas. The big change happened, of course, when George Lucas sold Star Wars to Disney. That's when the major change happened, of course. And yes, I, I liked Mandalorian. I still do. Seasons one and two are fantastic. I love the characters from the main characters and the secondary characters. Anyway, and, and even Grogu, and I know that that's a gimmick in its own self, but I still enjoyed it, and, and I think Jon Favreau did a really good job with that. After Star Wars got bought by Disney, then we had The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, and that, which really was, right? They killed Luke with that movie. They killed who he was and changed him forever, and it's a travesty. In The Force Awakens, they kill, they literally kill off Han Solo. For I love Han Solo, and the way they took him out is disrespectful and wrong. And then moving all the way to The Rise of Skywalker, that, that, those three movies, again, were not Star Wars. It's not Star Wars. I just, you know, as a Star Wars fan, a guy who still has... 70 Star Wars figures. I still have ships hanging around my vintage old school ships that I got for Christmas from my parents. They're still in my office. I still have my toys. I have my poster autographed by Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher. May she rest in peace. That's what that poster is right there. I'm an OG hardcore Star Wars fan, and all this stuff since then has not been Star Wars. That's the problem with it. It's not Star Wars. And you'll never capture that lightning in a bottle again. You can't. It's impossible. It's like having an amazing party, right? And, you're, and one weekend you have all your friends and family over, and it's an amazing party, and you play games, and you hang out, and you socialize, and you have this amazing time. And you're like, I want to do that again. Let's have the same party again. And the next weekend, you invite the same people over. It's not the same party. You can't replicate that. And, and there's a reason for that. What I call lightning in a bottle, um, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, even the Harry Potter movies, the original Star Wars movies, there are these, these movies, right? These cinematic events where a creator had an idea 
And whether we're adapting Tolkien or coming up with com something completely new, which is Star Wars, or we're adapting Harry Potter, and those three examples right there, they were allowed to create and be among themselves and have pure creation happen. And this work that ILM did, phenomenal, never to be repeated again, even in the digital age, brilliant. So yeah, there's a reason why it hasn't done well. There's a reason why people are losing money on this IP of Star Wars is because it is not Star Wars. It's not. Now, there are, there are some shining gems along the way that are done well. Everything else in between is, is, is not Star Wars. And it's, it's sad. And you know that's why I cling to the original trilogy so much. I have that at least, and that's special. Leave me a comment below. Like it if you like it. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. I'm Loudboy. This is the Loudboy Experience. Thank you for being here, guys. I hope you have a good night.